I grew up in a small town in Indiana. Uh, it's like an hour west of Indianapolis. It was kind of hard growing up in a small town and being around a lot of closed-minded people. I had childhood depression because I was bullied so much and I wasn't diagnosed being transgender. A lot of times I was forced to be a boy and um, to be more masculine. They called me like a girl or girly or a sissy. And then as I got older, it became more like <laughs> queer. Um, I remember when I first went to the high school bathroom and all this writing on the wall about me. It was really traumatizing and I feared going to the restroom. So I started like going to therapy. This amazing woman, her name is Sarah, and she was a teacher and she's like, you need to write down things that you're grateful for and the things that you love about yourself and hold on to that. And that was a blessing because when I went in and I saw all the writing on the wall and I saw and felt the fear of boys and how they were scared of me, I just realized I needed to love myself. I remember that I wanted a pedicure. Like I wanted to like have nice nails. And um, my girlfriends, they were getting their nails done and I, I wanted to go. And I went and got a French tip pedicure. And I, I liked it and I was like, I don't care. Like I don't care if people say something. I want to embrace my feminine energy. I owned it. One of my friends visited in, from LA to Terre Haute, my hometown. And he was like, girl, you need to move to LA. Like you need to move to a bigger city and just embrace that. And I was like, what? This needs to happen. So I started manifesting it. And then when I moved to Los Angeles, I was out in West Hollywood at a bar and I was started talking to this guy who said he was like psychic. And we just really clicked and I told him my story. And he was like, sweetie, you're trans. And I was like, what? And it's not like I've, the first time I've ever heard the word trans or transgender, but I just, it, a light bulb went off. I had an aha moment and I was like, Oh my God, I'm in the wrong body. I thought to myself, I'm on a deserted island by myself, naked, no one's judging me. I picture myself as a man, and then I picture myself as a woman on the beach. And when I pictured myself as a woman on the beach, I lit up, like my heart space blew open, and I just felt so good. And that changed my life right there because I started the transition. And still to this day, I write down, I am beautiful, I am love, I am trans, I am transgender. And I love that, and I'm, I'm falling in love with my trans experience.